<clears throat> you may ask, Jazz, why are you on your bed recording this video? This is a skincare video. You need to be in your bathroom, you know, demonstrating. And to that, I will say, I am the scum of the earth. I wanted it to be very comfortable and cozy when making this video. So we're in my bedroom. And also, there's no need for me to demonstrate my skincare routine in this video. You will see what I'm talking about. My skincare routine is not really a routine. To be honest, I was blessed with clear skin. Clear skin. I have eczema, KP, the occasional HS. I'm black, I have dry skin. I have tons of dark marks from having Terrible eczema. Exhibit A, B, C, and D. Also, Jazz, why is all your skin covered? Why, why are you wearing sleeves? Why are you wearing long pants? And to that, I would say, well, I'm kind of like that shig man that all the kids adore. No, I don't watch MHA. I'm a Death Note fanatic. Trust me, you do not want to see what's under these britches. I will spare you. I did show it on my other channel if you want to watch that. But for this video, I will spare all of you. You may or may not have noticed this pile of crap right beside me. These are most of my skincare products. Let us begin with my arch nemesis, eczema. For my eczema, it is very important for me to moisturize my skin regularly. Before we get into this, I will warn you, I'm a very simple person. I don't apply 10 products a day. You may even call me a skincare minimalist. For lotion, use unscented lotion. My doctor recommended it to me. For people who have sensitive skin, fragrances will break you out most of the time. I bought this lotion because it claimed to smooth out your skin. It has a scent to it. I don't use it often, I only use it when I'm out of my unscented crap. My lotion of choice is Nivea, that one. That's my girl. After using lotion, I will occasionally, if I'm feeling, you know, spine thingy. I will apply oil. The oil is to seal the moisture in. You know, the little bit that I do have. When I was younger, I used to use baby oil, which I haven't done research on. I would say that olive oil and baby oil have the same effect on my skin personally. In the shower or just in general, other than hand soap, I use unscented sensitive skin soap. Unscented is a must. She does me well. She does me well. As for deodorants, because I'm sure a lot of you get breakouts under your arms, like I do. I used to get HS under my arm and other places. Places. I'm pretty sure that's more of a digestive gut type of thing. I haven't had an HS breakout in a while and I've been eating healthy. I think I do have a food allergy. I haven't gotten tested. I need to do that. But you guys already know that you have to eat healthy to be able to have healthy skin. So I won't go into that. These are my two deodorants. This used to be my main squeeze, but then I switched to this one because she doesn't break me out. She used to break me out all the time. Then I switched to her and it took a while for my body to realize that I wasn't using her anymore. But she doesn't break me out. So she's my main squeeze. This is a natural deodorant. No aluminum. It does not last as long as this, so you might have to touch it up. But for me, it's worth not having the breakout. This would give me eczema. It was spread from my armpit all the way down and up, and it made my arm dark. This stuff, she's the goat. I will say, though, I used to use the scented versions of Secret back in the day. Then my doctor told me to get the unscented ones, and I would get the pH balance ones. And that worked better for a while, but it would still break me out. But not as bad as the scented ones. Then my dad bought one of these for me and it didn't work at first. It faded within a few hours, but strangely after a while of using it, I guess my body just adapted because now it works for me. It advertises 24 hour odor protection and I wasn't getting that at first, but now I get it. So I was sure that this wasn't working for me. Like I was about to throw her away. I was about to set her on fire in my backyard, but I didn't, I stuck with her and I love her now. Oh, oh. Now for when I have an active eczema breakout, my doctor has prescribed me three different eczema creams over the year. First, I had hydrocortisone and it was the lowest strength, I think 0.3. She had to upgrade me to one that I couldn't get over the counter. I never got it over the counter. I always got a prescription. She upgraded me to a higher strength of hydrocortisone and that's what I would use on my face. For my body, she prescribed me this ointment called Triamcinolone and that was for my body. She said not to use that on my face, which, um, I have used it in my face before because I ran out of hydrocortisone and I had some really strong breakouts that wouldn't react to the hydrocortisone. So I used to try and fill it on my face. One time I did get it near my eyeball and my eyeball was watering all day. Don't at me. I never did it again. My third one is this right here. She's very, she's she's very dead. I scraped this to this day because I need to go back to my dermatologist and get another prescription, but I don't really have insurance right now and I'm kind of avoiding her. Can somebody please tell me why they put it in these metal container tubes? Like it makes it so hard to get out the last little bit. Ah, go! <laughs> I'm disgusted with myself.
Anyway, the strongest stuff my doctor has prescribed me, I think, is called Clobetasol. I've never heard her pronounce it, so Clobetasol Pro. Beyond eight, something like that. Oh my gosh, I had the worst breakout right here, and it wasn't even responding to the trimethylone. So she prescribed me this, and she told me to use it for like two weeks, and then go down to the trimethylone and down to high growth, something like that. I'm gonna need some more of that crack. Also, you guys, if you've never tried trimethylone, when I first got that crap, I get breakouts here all the time. If you've ever noticed that when you have eczema breakouts, you get hyperpigmentation, I noticed that within a few days of using the trimethylone, it actually takes the hyperpigmentation away. Well, I don't know if I'm some type of magical being. Speaking of hyperpigmentation, I use this fave cream by the brand Natanella. It's the extra strip formula. I get it from Walmart for five bucks. I've been using this for probably six years for whenever I get a dark mark. You guys, I've never seen it work this fast. I had stopped using it, but I recently started using it again. And you guys, I have this mark on my hand. This isn't one month ago, and this is it now. It says to apply a thin layer two times daily. I don't use it two times every day. I just use it once a day whenever I feel like it. To get the results that I got on my hand, I was just using it. I probably used it once a day for like two weeks, if that. And it somehow faded on its own beyond that. Now, when I get random breakouts on my face, I used to just use hydrocortisone on my face and that would knock it out. But since I don't have any and I wanted to branch out and try new products, I bought this mask. It's not made for breakouts, but it's an exfoliator and it makes my skin pretty smooth. I've tried it with turmeric and it actually helped my eczema. I have this rapid clear. I use it on my breakouts. Well, it says it fights breakouts in under eight hours. I think it works pretty well. Dab it on a paper towel and and fan it because it burns. I heard that if it burns, it's too strong, but I don't use it every day. I only use it here and there. I use it sparingly. And then after I do all that, put all my eczema crap on, whatever, I seal it with coconut oil. I swear, I have all the oils. I got black castor oil, I got vitamin E, I got coconut, I got olive. This does pretty good for me. I don't have oily skin, as I said, I have dry skin. So oils do good, very good in my skin and in my hair. I don't know if people usually include lips in this type of video. I only use Carmex. Chapstick does not work for me. In fact, it makes my lips chapped. I love the original. Congratulations, children. You have made it to the end of my skincare class. For those of you who like me, you can stick around for my clips of my trip to Target. So we're looking for pillows for the house. We all really like the fluffy ones. Fluffy is my favorite texture. Yeah. Ooh, look at him. Look at all of the old people furniture. This is for my grandpa. This is where little Tommy sits, candles, like and this is this is for your grandma. Now that that's for me. That's that's for my seat. I'm just proper squat. If anybody knows anything about me, I freaking love candles. My favorite flavor of anything birthday cafe. Look at this setup. It's like an oasis. It's like an oasis. 